Hello, what's going on? Shout out to anybody that's tuned in live, YouTube, and Twitch. What's going on? What's going on? Shout out to anybody that's tuned in tonight. New episode of Uncut Ish Talk. Like I said, I know everybody used to probably the uh, Fridays and the Saturdays. I mean, the Fridays or whatnot, but like I said, with uh, the holidays going on and everything, I kind of switched everything up. This probably going to be the last week I'll probably do it like this. I don't know necessarily what I'm going to do Friday because I got something I might be trying to do with my kids, but I'm going to let y'all know. Uh, shout out to Nadia. What's going on, Nadia? Hold on, y'all. <laughs> been a long day, so I gotta get myself together. Bro, man, you too. This my busy day. Man, I worked 10 <laughs> hours today. <laughs> Got off. Tried to get myself together. Getting prepped for this. It's been a long day. Long day. Uh, once again, though, I appreciate you coming through. Uh, I ain't hit too many people up. Because uh, it's a Tuesday, so I didn't know who was going to be able to come through or whatnot. Right, uh, right. I hit up Nate, but I'm not sure if he's going to be able to come through or not. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. Like I said, once again, anybody that's just tuning in, that is tuned in, it's been a long day. I work 10 hours a day. I'm trying to get myself together, running around, get my kids straight. <laughs> Still got to get a uh, dinner prep, which I am doing in this current moment, but I appreciate anybody that's tuned in tonight, Twitch or YouTube. Like I said, man, woo! <laughs> woo! <laughs> Especially if you got kids and you just working. Like I said, I'm doing a little bit of overtime because I'm trying to get stuff prepped for Christmas. Not only that, going into uh, next year or whatnot, because I'm prepping myself for trying to own a home or whatnot, but... I got a lot I got going on between that time and trying to just get that done. It's a lot, man. So, yeah. Yeah, I man, I look at adulthood completely different now because <laughs> I'm just like, it's so much shit that I was not prepared for, taught how to do. Like, damn. <laughs> it's just okay, like a bunch man. of unlearning, relearning, hell learning shit for the first time. Life. I be trying to teach I be trying to talk to these 20 year olds but they ain't want to listen to that oh no is you talking about like the little student, like students you used to have or current and young oh, people you talking nah. to nah I feel like I imparted enough wisdom on them I'm just talking about like friends of the family and stuff oh, like okay, that okay, I, got you. I be trying to I, got I be trying to give a little guidance because I, I feel like I got a little bit of wisdom from life and shit like that. I mean, you know, I I don't be doing the unsolicited, you know, because I don't like unsolicited advice. So, like, you know, if they ask, I give them some advice and shit, you know. My bad, I feel no, like no. I am hella bright over here. <laughs> I guess it's because I'm wearing white. I gotta have some on my back, y'all. I'm working on getting me a, like a gaming chair. That's what I need. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> for real. You gotta have something good for your back. I'm working on getting me like a gaming chair or whatnot. We ain't no spring chickens anymore. Nah, I'm all good, man. I'm good. My back good. I ain't saying it like that. <laughs> Shit. That I'm, I'm not old. And yeah, my I birthday just came, that. but I'm still good. I'm, hey. I can't stand when people my age be like, I'm old. I'm old. No, the fuck you ain't. Just get the fuck up and stretch. Exercise. <laughs> yeah, that too. I always stretch before I go to work because you're supposed to have these recommendations anyway before you start working or whatnot. My job being mm -hmm. what it is, though, we don't stretch. Well, they don't stretch or whatnot. They don't come in like, you know, at certain jobs, they'll be like, everybody gather around. We're going to do stretches and exercises before we start working or whatnot. Nah, not these Negroes. I stretch, though. <laughs> I've never been at a job like that. <laughs> well, uh, Maybe like some morning morale meetings, but ain't nobody trying to stretch. Lazy bombs. <laughs> There's some things I was thinking about too, man. As far as uh, what we doing or whatnot. Not necessarily mm -hmm. what we doing, but just the uh, show or whatnot. Because 
I don't know. I guess I was looking at not looking at necessarily me, but I feel like I'm being myself when I guess loosening up a little bit more. And I guess I want to be more comfortable with talking about certain things. So I was like, okay, I'm going to do that. But I want to sit down with my wife, first of all, because everything I'm talking about, I'm like, okay, I'll make sure she's comfortable with all I'm talking about. Make sure I'm not going out of place or going uh, off the rails or whatnot. You know what I'm okay. saying? Because <laughs> now nah, I'm just saying because I pay attention to certain things as far as what I'm doing, as far as a podcast or whatnot. And... I want to make sure I'm being myself, but at the same time, like I said, uh, for instance, at work, I'm kind of a little bit more looser. I, we, you know what I'm saying? You tall, you, you do You feel like you're you holding back? Yeah, Why? I feel like I'm holding back a little bit. So, Why? Why I, are you holding back? I don't know. I guess when we talk about certain <laughs> things, <laughs> when we talk about certain things, I feel like is I don't... It cause like, is it because like we don't really know each other like that? Yeah, that too. Not, I ain't gonna say <laughs> okay. that. Well... I mean, for me, that's what it is. Cause like yeah. I don't, I don't know how. Like okay, cause when I get comfortable with people, that shit might start to scare them. Cause the shit, I just, I will say some shit. See, but I'm not. I'm, but that's I'm not the type person I'm, that's just I'm, gonna I'm, be telling yeah. other people business. You know. <laughs> yeah, I got what you're saying, and that's what I'm saying. I'm getting comfortable, so I'm saying okay. I'm get loosening up a little bit more. So I'm saying I'm trying to catch myself and say, should I be able to start talking certain ways or be able to do certain things? And I feel like for my audience, I want to try to do that. And I okay. feel like they might engage with me a little bit more if I do that. So I'm not saying I'm going to do that tonight. I don't know. I might <laughs> even try to do something where I go like say a little thing like I do something like an after dark thing or something I don't know oh I'm work, I'm thinking about some things I'm just saying <laughs> they gonna have to pay for that yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying though if hey, you, you know want me saying. if you gonna get me saying some some <laughs> stuff you gonna have to pay for that I'm not just telling my business but no I got That's some other ideas, that might though. I got some topics that might make you loosen up you know I got what you said but yeah. I wanted to as far as my subscribers or anybody that's watching me on Twitch or whatnot I just like I said, I'm thinking about doing certain things, not switching nothing over, but as far as my personality or whatnot, this is my personality. Don't get me wrong, but I'm saying when I'm, it's like a I said, when I'm at work, yeah, when I'm at work, or whatnot, I'm, I'm a little bit loose or whatnot. So I feel like I want to get a little bit loose on here. I just want to make sure I'm not going overboard or doing something like, you know what I'm saying? I want to make sure <laughs> I just want to make sure I'm keeping it grounded. I'm keeping it grounded. I'm just saying, man, because okay. I, I really thought about it when we uh, was talking last week. Not really last week, but Monday. Yeah, you know, I was like. That was last week. I need to, like, dive into stuff. Because I wanted to say something. I was like, no, no. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. That's why I said maybe I need to just loosen up a little bit because that's what I feel like this is for. And I feel like we all adults and past tense stuff. And like I said, it's just because this is if I feel like if I'm going to engage with an audience like this and people want to really, really get to know me or whatnot, I need to kind of let them in on certain things. <laughs> Not necessarily just my business, but just past tense stuff and the stuff we kind of be talking about as far as topics. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Everybody's uh, listening or whatnot. That's all I'm saying, man. That's all. I like to take notes. I like to pay attention to things, and that's all. And I listen to what we do as far as the podcast and whatnot. And I listen to the audio, and I listen to us. Yo. And I'm like, I need to loosen Yo. up a little bit. I just feel like I need going to loosen up back a and bit. listening. Like I, because you like if we all talking at the same time, like I can't really hear y'all. But like I was saying something, and then you said something, and I was like, "Wait, you really said that?" <laughs> I, me? Yeah. Uh, I it wasn't like crazy, but it I was see. just like it took me. It, it I ain't about to ask, y'all. I see. Uh, All right. Other than that, man, welcome to a new episode of Uncut It Talk. This is episode twenty-five. Tis the season. Like I said, we ain't getting towards that uh, Christmas point. We still in November. I think this is the last day of November, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so it'll be December tomorrow. So. Yeah, we in that holiday season. I guess uh, 
I'll go into one topic and I'll let you dive into one after I guess I'll dive into whatever I'm going to dive into first. Uh, I ain't going to go into the pop culture stuff. I guess I'll dive into some music first. I got a couple of okay. things, but I guess I'm going to talk about uh, the verses. And we got a pop, maybe a possible one, but I feel like it, it's kind of not fair. I feel like it's kind, it kind of wouldn't be fair. Okay. Ghostface and Raekwon. They was recently on Drake Champs, and they basically said they want to battle the locks pertaining to Jadakiss and him beating out Fabulous and Dipset. <laughs> so, and my thing is, I feel like it's this fair since Jadakiss already went twice and won, even though Jadakiss will step up. I feel like Jadakiss is going to definitely step up to the plate, and his brother's going to step up with him. Styles P. Sheet Luch. Um, if Jada want to go on a who the, who you think can beat me challenge, I'm all for it. I mean, because he's very entertaining. He, you know, don't let us stand. <laughs> I know, but I mean, if he want to, I mean, the fact that he's been on there twice already is already like, you know, why he get two episodes and it's like because he was it ain't himself even why he get two episodes. It's more like. <laughs> Are we gonna be willing to stick with him through this music again? Some of the same music. Or, oh, okay. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Yeah. Like, what you about to pull this out? Like, what you about to pull out? We didn't hear this shit twice, baby. And okay. not really. On, but, but Jada Kiss has freestyles, and he did one against Dipset. He has a lot of freestyles, and I forgot that he has a lot of features. Mm -hmm. So. I don't know. It's a lot of Rough Rider mixtapes out here. Not mixtapes, but compilation albums. Yeah. Hey, you got DMX albums he was featured on. Mm -hmm. Hey, he could play some some of them joints, so. I, I don't know. I mean, when you put it like that, as far as like, you know, Jada Kiss and Dipset, you know, like, I mean, if he want to be challenged and they think it's going to be entertaining, I would watch it. But, like, I don't know how many more times I'm willing to watch Jadakiss. <laughs> hey, no, if he's coming in like, like he did okay. against Dipset, I'm there. I'm willing to watch it. I'd say one more time, but, like, I mean, I would say also give somebody else a shot because it's like, you know. Hey, that's Ghostface and Raekwon calling them out, though. Not the other way. That's so. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's, it's the artist calling out the artist. So, I mean, it's up to... The artist to accept and versus to accept, but like it's not gonna be fair. Ghostface <laughs> and Raekwon have way too, and we we ain't heard them yet. We heard Rizzo when he was playing some of the joints. You know when they did the uh, they did a versus. I don't, you probably don't know about it, but they did a versus with Rizzo and uh, DJ Premier. But this was like before they was. This is during the oh, pandemic. Yeah, I did. Heavy during the pandemic. I did. Yeah, I did, and I was mad because like I missed it because. <laughs> Missing a lot of verses, and I think this was before they started like replaying yeah. them and stuff like that. This yeah, is like so what we doing right now, basically what yeah. they was doing. <laughs> yeah, so I had missed it, and I was just mad. I was just like, I can't believe I missed this shit. I was mad about that one. That was one of those because I had missed a bunch of them, but like, because really, honestly, I, the only ones I actually sat through and watched and remembered to hop on was like Lil John versus T Pain. Yeah. Nelly and Ludacris, I hopped in like the middle, like the beginning of the middle. Um, who else? Yeah, I saw Paula Brady and Scott Monica, Stewart. but I was bored. I saw Shanti and Keisha Cole. I watched Jeezy and Gucci Mane. Of course, they're the, like the main ones. They're the ones when everybody was coming back outside a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh. I just yeah, feel like, then, like I said, I don't feel like it'll be fair for J.D. Kiss unless he pull out a lot of freestyles. Like, I know he got DJ Clue freestyles. He might pull out some uh, mixtape joints, but I don't know if the mixtape joints is as memorable as those Ghostface Killer and Raekwon songs. <laughs> like, you talking about Only Built for Cuba Links, talking about Ghostface Iron Man, going on to the other ones they got as far as they single albums, double albums, whatever you want to call it, Wu-Tang Forever's. Hey, they can go on and on and on. So I don't feel like they'd mm -hmm. be fair to Jada Kiss or the Locks. Well, he did say the Locks, so you got Styles P and Sheet Loose there, so they can maybe add on. Some, I mean, 
<laughs> I'm just saying, Ghostface Killer <laughs> and Raekwon together. Yeah. That's dead. <laughs> but I just wanted your opinion on this as far as if that versus was to happen and what they would try to do. I wouldn't be mad at it, but like, yeah, that's that's a lot of logistics. Who who playing what? What y'all playing? What you bring? Man, if y'all keep seeing me getting up, y'all, uh, I got to adjust my air because like I said, when I got off, I had to get myself together and Shower in this in the third, yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> we can go to one of your topics though if you want to. Ah, my topics is short, but it's more like questions. All okay. right. So what is your favorite most what is your favorite song that has the most ratchet, ignorant lyrics where it's just like I really should not be singing this shit this hard with my chest, but I'm going to. <laughs> That's easy. Uh, Project Pat Gorilla Pimp. <laughs> <laughs> and I do not uh, stand by none of the lyrics. But if I'm on my way, I'm on my way to work. Hey, I'm just, I'm, just, I'm at work. Hey, it's a vibe. It is. <laughs> it's and by the way, my wife <laughs> loves this song too. She do. Ask. She loves that song. Hey. I mean, mine is. And that's a very a nigga disrespectful head, song. Smack it the is. Hoe, shoot the club up. Bust a nigga head. Oh. Smack the hoe. Shoot the club up. Nigga, why? Am I singing this shit so hard my chest? What song was that again? Oh. Eight Ball at MJG. Oh, 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 oh P. Smack the hoe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> That kind of go with what I'm talking about then with uh, Project Pat Gorilla Pimp. Yeah, they go with that one, kind of. Yeah, it's like, why do I like this song so much? Oh, God. It's, I feel like it's like, that point of just being turned up at the moment in the beat and rocking with them and you, a hey. And uh, Project Pat didn't even have a video to Gorilla Pimp. And 8 Ball MJG had a video to that. So, yeah. Yeah. That song I'm like, how, they, how the hell did they even get that song to play? Because it's like, what? The, I guess they were just bleeping out everything. I mean, that was around <laughs> that time. Ain't it around that time where you had Scrappy Head Buster, uh, Little John with that crunk moment where you in the club? Like, yeah, if you was like going hell, yeah, that was around that time. So, hey, anything can go. Talking about, uh, what was it, Young Bloods? If you don't give a damn, we'll, <laughs> well, mm-hmm. like, hey. <laughs> that was like, you can blink the invitation words out to all start you want fighting. To. <laughs> that was the invitation to start fighting. It's like all those songs. There was a lineup to <laughs> get out the way if you don't want to be get pushed, shoved, or what? Yeah, you you buck, you know? <laughs> 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 yeah. What were we doing? What were we doing? Why? And what that's you mean, what was we that's... doing? Look what's going on now. What was we doing? Hey, we were talking about fighting. We weren't talking about going up. <laughs> we were talking about pushing each other or whatnot. I even we were still, still hey. fist fighting then. Yeah. <laughs> we're talking about oh. fighting each other. I'm just saying, no, I I, be, you get took out the I just, look, <laughs> I just look back on like the shit that we did, and it's just like, why? But I mean, that was Dang. that's what we thought was cool. That's what we was into. Like, whatever. That's why I can't like be mad at young children for like the shit that they like, and I'm like, because yeah. I look at their stuff and I'll be like, why? Like, and sometimes what, what even as a parent, you have to stop yourself. <laughs> like, what you? Oh, oh wait. <laughs> Yo. Let, let me let me remember what I did. Yeah, I was watching oh, Dave God. Chappelle as a child, so I mean, <laughs> the Chappelle show. Right. And you talking about listening to that R and B, listening to Twist and Jamie Foxx as you sitting up there, you what, what is you singing? What did you about that grinding? <laughs> Genuine in those jeans? Like, <laughs> hey. Boy, the music. You think it has that deep of an influence on Young Mind? Uh, today, I don't. I, I would say kind of yeah because it's more the internet age though, and it's more trying to prove a point. Especially if you influenced by the music, or if you're trying to do the music, you you know what I'm saying. 
I ain't gonna necessarily say a rapper. I ain't gonna put them in that category because I feel like it's more than just being a rapper or whatnot. It is. It is. It is. They they always blame rap music and video games, and I'm like, wait, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> but yeah, I hate that. The, don't blame or oh, rock and roll music too. They try to blame that shit, but I mean, I mean, they also. I don't feel like is rock and roll music still a thing. I'm yes. being honest. I, I don't hey, hear yo, no rock and yo. Yo, I was watching a YouTube video and it was a tutorial. And then like at the I, I had stopped listening, but it but it kept playing. And the dude was like something about bringing rock and roll music back to number one like it's supposed to be. And I was like, oh, white people really mad. <laughs> like <laughs> that shit came out of nowhere. Like, nigga, this is not what I, what I even came on this video for. Like, you really mad that rock and roll is not number one. It's either pop or rap. It, it goes back and forth. Pop I mean, rap, rap, pop rap. I feel like it's always just had that top spot, even when the genre was introduced, as far as what, New York or whatnot. Like, it always yeah. been something that's a spectacle, especially outside yeah. of people who do not know nothing about hip hop. The same way people look at uh, movies like A Menace to Society or Boys in the Hood, like, wow, it really goes down like that down there. Like, <laughs> So yeah, that and that's what way. I hate because then they start fetishizing it like they want to be a part of this but it not be real and it's like this is real life with people yeah. like what? Like stop we, we're not characters and and talk, look I can go to a whole psychology thing of that but like I'm not because <laughs> not nobody want to hear my do that but yeah like bro, the psychology behind people fetishizing black culture to the point that Definitely they want to yeah. live in poverty to do what? Like, bro, nobody wants to live like this. That's the same <laughs> thing they say as far as why drill music gets so popular outside of the uh, black culture or whatnot. And that's why when you go to certain concerts, you'd be like, these certain people don't look like the people that you think would be listening to the music. <laughs> so Yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess outside of that, I guess I'll go to my next thing. What Bob? I guess I'm going to ask what Bob pick do you think you want to see next? Similar to the Straight Outta Compton oh, or the Rays. Uh, hmm. I know what I want to see. What you want to see? <laughs> I mean, like I said, I we can, got Wu Tang. So yeah, we got Wu Tang because that was that was always something like, how the hell all these niggas make it? <laughs> like, all these. And when niggas, I say I biopic, <laughs> it could be movie or series similar to what Wu Tang doing. Yeah, well, they needed a series. Like first, yeah. biopics need a series. Period. Because you cannot put somebody's entire life. I don't care if it was only 25 years. You cannot put that shit in two hours. Stop trying to do that shit yep. because you're rushing it. Um, I don't know. Lifetime need to stop making biopics, period. Man, don't do that. I'm just, <laughs> not mentioning <laughs> Lifetime in this. <laughs> no. Nobody on Lifetime needs to make a biopic for, about anything or anybody else. Please stop. Stop it. Stop. Keep keep on with the murder mysteries and shit. You know, but like... <laughs> Yeah, blaming all of uh, uh, no. blaming uh, <laughs> men. <laughs> all men well, are bad yeah, guys. The, the world, the world is scary, and men will uh, assault you. And like, it don't matter what race. All men. All men. All men. <laughs> Young, but, uh, old, children, babies, men. Period. <laughs> I guess I want to see a uh, Cash Money movie. Bruh. I want to see a not movie with series. It got to be a series. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's what I want to see. Hell, yeah. Hell, yeah. And so, I want, like, just thinking about, like, that come up. Like. That's what I'm saying. You know, that's I'm only going to be that process. That a, <laughs> and I wouldn't mind watching it, though. I The same it. way with Wu-Tang. I feel like Cash Money's. A, do you feel like Cash Money's would be a longer than Wu-Tang's? I do. Yeah. Especially yes. with Wayne. They about to say they were so young. That's it. Like, that's it. They that were so shit young. is that's what blows my mind when like I look back and I'm like, yo, we was really just watching children with hella money just doing whatever the fuck they like no wonder we wanted to be famous. Like being fat, but like the way people want to be famous now is 
way more fucked up than the way we wanted to be famous. We was just like, we gonna be some rappers and you know, <laughs> right? Yeah, got- but like, versus like children now, like they see people become famous and they're yeah. like, oh, this is this shit really tangible. So this is where all that clout chasing and bullshit coming from because the tangibility of fame is like a fucking viral video away. You know what I mean? And watching the cash money come up with CDM, uh coming up that age where you didn't have a lot of uh, record labels in the South, and you had to go to New York or whatnot or whatnot, and especially with the internet. Mm-hmm. What's up? You can't hear me? No, I can hear you. No. I'm listening I mean, in my yeah. house because I still got children. <laughs> you good, man? But uh, yeah, you would see Cash Money basically being in the South because you know back then you didn't have none of that uh, quick access to record labels or whatnot. You had to go to the big cities or whatnot. And to see somebody yeah. like a Birdman and that come up to him making that certain deal and to see how he made that deal, that distribution deal where they get all the uh, 80% and Universal get, what, 10 or 20% or whatnot? 20. Because mm-hmm. you would Bruh. get that whole backstory before we even got to them getting a the record deal. Him bringing them all together or whatnot. So, yeah. Right. Same thing would be with a No Limit story, which I think we're getting that. I think Master P doing it. Yeah, yeah, I I thought he was working on it. That's that's why I didn't say that because I um, after man, you said cash I, money because I was like I think he been working on that. I'm not being funny, but I hope it's not like the Boosie one. I I, I look man, I I enjoy what Boosie was trying to do. I understand the entrepreneurship and the hustle behind it. And hey, ain't no problem with what Boosie did, but. Hey, the quality, man. Hey, man. Production you quality. You need some people to come in and be like, hey. Production hey. quality. And like I said, I hope Boosie actually gets a chance to redo that and make me do his story over again because I want to see that. Everybody want to see a Boosie story. I'm just saying. The right way, though. Done the right way. <laughs> uh, You have a topic you want to jump in before I guess I jump in the minds again? What what is yours about? <laughs> what you mean? I mean, I I'm everything is all over the range. Like I said, I go into some. Uh. <laughs> I jumped. I asked this then. Like I said, I this is one of my loose. I I guess this is one of the <laughs> loosening up questions. Okay. Have you ever had somebody ask you to do something crazy in a bedroom? <laughs> like try something new or do something out of the ordinary. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> oh, look, I got to get my last up. <laughs> no. Um, I ain't going to say you got to go into detail oh. if you want. <laughs> no, no, I'm just thinking. I'm like, have I said anything crazy? Or have hey, I? You can say that too. Have you asked somebody to do something? Maybe you don't ask somebody. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> <Look>. <laughs> I'm trying not to say no crazy shit to get me in trouble. Um, not that I, I'm just saying, like, you know, people take shit the wrong way, but I don't give a fuck, you know. <laughs> okay. I never had anybody ask me to do something crazy. Um, I don't feel like I've asked anybody to do anything unreasonable, but I just, like, <laughs> I don't know. I, I know people, like, I don't know if you call it a fetish or a kink or I don't know. Yeah, it's like, I, I, got, what you're I, got, about. I got shit like that, but like not like no like I don't have a fetish because it's <laughs> I call it more of a kink. I don't know. Like I got kinks. I don't have fetishes, so but or, have you asked somebody ask, to do one of these kinks? <laughs> fetishes. <laughs> yeah, but it's like very common. Like okay. choke me. Like choke oh, okay. me. Choke yeah. like a lot of people like being choked, so like. <laughs> okay, that ain't nothing. Yeah, okay. So that's like that ain't nothing crazy to me, but like I guess because people don't understand like how much breath control I got, so like. <laughs> <laughs> so like. <laughs> I got, you about to do? So, <laughs> so like my husband. What you mean? Like, are you okay? Yes, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like. <laughs> Cause he like you scaring me. Like, like nah, don't get scared. I got this. Like I ain't gonna let you make me pass out. Hey, my wife. Nah. So if you ask me, I ain't asking no questions afterwards. We just gonna go full forward then. Just, 
That's it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're going to let me know. But, hey, if, it, if it's just being asked, I'm pretty sure it's being enjoyed. I would say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, okay, so like I'm trying to understand this whole spitting in people's mouth thing. Like I don't, I don't get that. I don't get like I wanna get it, but I don't get it. And it's not like it's not like my husband's asking for it or anything, but it's just like I don't see no, why, but like do I don't know, because like I, I don't like spit. Like I think spit is crazy. I mean, people kiss. Like, That's enough to me. Like you kiss, and okay, there you go. Yeah, like, you do that. I don't. Yeah, I ain't that. They're like that's something I, I ain't never been asked or asked somebody to do. No, <laughs> no. I question it, but like I, I don't know. I just feel like I'd be grossed out and I'd be done. Like no, don't don't do that anymore. Ever. <laughs> like I don't. I feel like that's what's gonna happen. But I don't know. Maybe I have to try it. <laughs> Has somebody ever asked you to put their tongue in their ear? <laughs> like, what's... No. <laughs> what's up with that? <laughs> Those people... Okay. I don't taste wet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to ask you to taste wet. <laughs> and I clean my ears. I'm just saying, though, like... <laughs> I... <laughs> Oh gosh! I mean, I think I feel like it'd be cool to be a dominatrix, though. Like, step on people with heels on and shit, like, kick people, eat them up. I don't know. What about fruit snacks? <laughs> <laughs> like, I just gotta no, say fruit sorry. snacks. You know where that's going to? So <laughs> I know. No, I. No, um, so question. <laughs> okay, I got. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> hey, I'm see about- y'all see me? I was trying. I- <laughs> nah. <laughs> okay, so what about them, my light? Them might be the type of ones that's for like an after dark session. I do this. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I was. Nah. Oh, so what you talking about? Like bring your food into the bedroom, whipped cream, fruit type of shit. Nah. I don't. I don't know. What you like nah fruit snack. Yeah, put the fruit snacks in areas for somebody to come in and eat the fruit snack. <laughs> from where? Bread, wherever, area, no. wherever area they no. want the fruit. <laughs> no. See, I've heard of fruit roll-ups. Yeah. But it get, that too. <laughs> but not. No, no. I've heard of fruit roll-ups, not fruit snacks. So, first of all, hey. just... Let y'all, y'all ain't never heard of fruit snacks. I mean, you got the fruit gushers. No. <laughs> oh my god, that sound, all that sounds like a yeast infection waiting to happen. Like, bro, I cannot do this. Is shit what I'm like saying. This. This like, I said, have you been I, asked? No. To do no. Things? No. Well, no. Because I will tell you, no, 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 sir. I, I I care about my pH, and I need to keep that shit balanced. So we not Very doing shit like that. Very understandable. <laughs> we we not doing shit like that. <laughs> Keep your fruit snacks to yourself. <laughs> I'm no. asking. That was one of the points no. where I said, let me put one of these questions in here, not or topic that'll loosen up, loosen up topic. <laughs> okay. Man, I can't be telling all my business. <laughs> Roger that. But, okay. <laughs> Moving on. We'll go to another topic. <laughs> uh, you got a question? I mean, the topic you want to bring up before I go to mine? Um, alright. So, I... Shout out to anybody that's tuned in. And if you tuned out, my so bad. We, I was trying to, like... We loose, since we loosening up, okay, since we loosening up, okay, so, um, I was watching this. I like to watch people do commentary about movies and shit. Okay. So this dude was doing commentating on this movie and he was talking about virginity. Well, the movie was talking about virginity and he was talking about he was like there's no male equivalent to virginity as far as like y'all don't have a hymen that's that bust. You know what I mean? Y'all don't have a fucking hymen. Do, do you know what the hymen is? Oh my god. <laughs> I, I'm just I'm trying to let you finish what you I'm just caught off I'm letting you hear what you're saying 
Okay, anyway, so he was saying that there's no there's no real male equivalent to virginity because y'all don't have a hymen because y'all don't have vaginas. Yeah, because that's it coming straight. Anyway. Well, yeah, let me... <laughs> <laughs> I, I ain't going to go into that either. We, oh, yeah. just, we just... That's all I'm saying. I'm just talking about biology. Yeah. Biology okay. says. Anyway. So, he was like, virginity isn't even a real thing. Like, if you want to be technical about it. So... Why do people hold so much value on virginity? And I was like, why the fuck do they? That's a good question. <laughs> Let me ask my peers. <laughs> like, because we, we, got, we got, and then, first of all, the way that virginity is pushed on girls, okay? And That's I what I'm about it, to I say. You don't why. feel like a girl or woman should feel like... So, no, okay. So, I was told as, as a child, um, your virginity is precious. Wait till marriage. Okay. I, I Obviously, I didn't wait till marriage. But uh, <laughs> news flash, if anybody want to fucking know, I didn't wait till marriage. But, a lot um, of us didn't. Like, <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> but I'm just like, I I get from a spiritual aspect why it's... Um, uh, you know, held sacred because yeah. it is a spiritual act. You are trading energy. It's just you know, no matter how much you say you can like fuck somebody with no emotions, you still trade energy. It's still an energy exchange, whether you want it to be or not. And I don't. I hate. I hate when everybody be like soul tie, and that's kind of true. But you also, on some level, you have to be willing to give up that part of your soul that you are tying with that other person. Like you said, you know, like when you feel, when you actually feel feelings for somebody and you do it and this, yeah. Are you talking about an aspect like if they feel pain, you feel pain? That oh, type God, of stuff? no. Oh, I'm sorry. No. <laughs> like, <what> no. <laughs> so my question is, is like, where do you stand on this? Like you, you hardcore ti in it. Like I'm checking my daughter how I'm <laughs> Like, no, that shit was weird. No, that shit was weird as no, fuck. But okay, no. <laughs> no. And I'm not saying don't have no standards and don't have no goals and shit like that. I'm just saying like that whole you have to be a virgin when when you're married. Shit, like that whole religious aspect of it. Like, I mean, you have a lot of people they that don't that even believe in marriage too. no more. So. <laughs> For them to even think like they not even thinking about that, let alone marriage. True. So, because I feel like it's today, marriage is like almost people like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> What's the point? <laughs> That's what it's looking like. I feel like because people don't have good examples of healthy yep. marriages. And that's, it's definitely that's no all good examples out here that, to me. <laughs> Oh no! Yeah, but the media's not pushing healthy marriages. Why? Why would they? But then they still want us to have three point what, two point five kids? Because I don't know. No, three point five kids. Like some some bullshit. It's a bullshit ass number that's not real. But it's like it's really a decimal. I don't understand why it's a decimal. But yeah, we supposed to be out here popping out children, but like they promoting unhealthy marriages. Like what sense does that make? Nobody wants to get married because. They don't see healthy marriages, and, and marriage is already a hard thing. And yes. people, if they if they see everybody failing, they just like, well, what the fuck is the point? Why do I want to do it? And it's like, <laughs> first of all, you not seeing everybody failing. You just focusing on people's problems, and you don't realize people working through shit. You know what yeah, I mean? And if you focusing on celebrity. <laughs> Especially, then you definitely in the wrong spot. <laughs> That's <laughs> what they focus on. Celebrity on. marriages, man. They couple goes, couple goes. That's there's some good ones out here, but a lot of those not even in the spotlight. You probably don't even know certain people that's married that's been married for years on top of years. It's people, for like example, Grant Hill and Tamia. And, uh, well, I don't even. Well, I'm not even. I don't want. I shouldn't even bring this up in an example, maybe because I don't know if he was married, but. It's a lot of people that didn't know, and rest in peace and condolences to Young Dolph, they didn't know Young Dolph was in a whole full-blown relationship or whatnot, just because of the certain things he was saying or whatnot. Family man, like, he yeah. was a family man, full-blown or whatnot, but, and I don't I don't know if he was married or whatnot, but it seemed like he was married, but 
for an example, him, like an example, it's a lot of uh, celebrities that's out here married that you haven't heard about that's been married for years on top of years. So, just saying, if you use yeah. a celebrity for advice on marriage, no, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> But yeah, going back to the whole virginity thing, like was that something <laughs> like we're boys? I feel like that was oh, just some shit. shit y'all was just trying to get rid of that title. Like, like I don't want to be a virgin no more. I can't say it depends. <laughs> Do you feel like it depends on religion? Yeah, because yes and no, because. I used to go to church, and them church boys was worse than the boys that was in the streets. Like, <laughs> bruh, <I'm> bruh, <laughs> that's they—they they were terrible. I was just like, y'all hoeing more than the football players and shit. Like, <laughs> oh, so you—they like. I mean, well, I, I ain't gonna say I forgot because the only reason I feel. I ain't. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he go. Look, oh, I did. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this this is you ain't trying to in yes, I, shout out to everybody <laughs> what oh have you had to talk with any of your children yet like had to have any yeah. of that type of okay. was legit, I mean cause your children, are, your children are way older than mine <laughs> yeah, because my oldest was, of course is in high school or whatnot. so yeah we don't have that talk but oh. it was genuine it was like because she uh, yeah, I can say this. Your kids are fool. Now, don't get it twisted like they want to be like, yeah, I ain't worried about this one. Hey. <laughs> <'Cause> I <don't, laughs> but I feel like I do genuinely. We don't have this talk or whatnot, but it's a genuine conversation. Because I, I, I feel like before I feel like I was going to be able to have that conversation with her, I was going to be like, man, I want to talk to you about these type of things. I don't want to... Well, when going into it, it was like it's easy. She was it's you. You know your night. kids. Yeah. You know your kids. When you know your kids, it's gonna come naturally. I mean, that's her though. Because that's her. Yeah. Let me fake. That's her. <laughs> I ain't got to my <laughs> sons, my other daughter. Like, yeah. Let me. Hey. <laughs> yeah. How old were you? I always thought maybe it'd have been easier with boys, <laughs> but see, it actually was a little bit easier with my daughter. Right now. Right now. So we haven't right got now. to another point. You don't know. Hey, okay. Right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. they they minds change. Yeah, and, see that was because like, I like I like look at my parents. I'm like, when like when were you gonna notice that that I went and sweet innocent me? <laughs> and that's see that's the thing. Looking at my man, I'm looking at my oldest like a baby still. I'm like a baby. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Coming to me talking How? about this boyfriend or whatnot. Look, I'm puffing up like I, who, like who, nigga who, nigga who, like who you talking? And I ain't want to call her nigga. Like, like who you talking? <laughs> what we talking about? What the ops? Like, what, what are they? <laughs> oh God, not the ops. <laughs> hey, not with it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a loaded. How? Just, so how? <laughs> so how old were you? How old? I, how, old how old was you? I when what? When you lost your virginity, you like, oh, that's too much to be talking about. It ain't because I mean, people probably know, like it ain't like I had a child before my oldest daughter, my uh, oldest child, she passed. But I had a child when I was sixteen. Like I said, I had to go Damn. to work. I was at McDonald's. Everybody working from high school. I was going to school. <laughs> like so. Damn. I was very young. And see, that's not even when I lost my virginity when I had my first child. That was way before. <laughs> So I'm just saying, I was young. I, wow. Hey. Do you feel like you were pressured? Like, hell no. It was so. Fool is going to ready to go. What? <laughs> I'm being honest. I was ready. Wait, wait. So you were one of them kids that was fucking in middle school? If I had, I'm going to be honest. If I would have had the chance, yes, definitely. I didn't, though. Oh, I my did. God. <laughs> definitely. I was. I'm not going to I, 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 I don't know what I it was. Hormone. I don't, hey. <laughs> I, I mean, it just depends on the person. Because, like, for me, like, I remained sweet and innocent for a good while. <laughs> like, I was not having sex in, in, no, in middle school. That was a definite no, no, no. Even if I said I was, I was lying. <laughs> no, as far as, like, I wasn't telling people that I was. But, like, if you do, like. Hold on right quick. Hold on. I gotta make sure we good because I'm seeing I got a message on my computer. Oh, I'm make sure we not lagging. Shit. 
shout out to anybody that's tuned in. Uh, I'm trying to make sure we good. My bad. <laughs> We good. I don't, I don't know why. You sure this again. Ain't... Yeah, we good. My bad. <laughs> I don't know. My bad, y'all. My bad. I have to make sure because I don't want to be sitting on here and what's the name. Um, by the way, yeah, I am, this shit. I'm working on uh, it's an editing thing or something. I'm working on where the comments going to be able to show up right here. While we talking or whatnot, we'll be able to see people talking. Okay. And whatnot, where I don't got to go back and forth in the live chat because, like I said, if we are doing anything lagging or whatnot, I'll be able to have somebody be like, Hey, yo, y'all lagging or whatnot because I was doing games or whatnot, and somebody on Twitch let me know I was lagging. Like I said, doing... Okay, but uh, yeah, what I was saying, yeah, I went pressure, <laughs> I was good. <laughs> hey, this was early though, like, man. Not early, Man. like I was out here, like boom, 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 boom. It was early, those feelings, mm. like the way I was, like, hey, Man. it was. Oh. So that's why I always <laughs> think about how my kid, how my kids going. If yeah. I was feeling like this, if I was ready, <laughs> especially in this world that we in now, yeah. where it's just like sex, 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 <laughs> just real pushed in their face, and I'm just like, yeah, because we, we had it pushed in our face, but like. It was still some wholesome shit out there. It's hard to find anything wholesome now. That, and you talking about the internet age, the access Bruh, to look at things, yeah, the see access. things. <laughs> <laughs> man. And that's another Stuff thing, though, Twitter. especially with, where I was thinking, like, yes, you talking about uncut, uh, watching um, BET uncut, waiting to three o'clock. Uh, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> hey, do you got a Reddit? <laughs> do you have a Reddit? A what? Reddit. Uh, nah. That shit is wild. That is like, no. If your kids be like, yeah, I'm on Reddit. Don't I really don't even have a, I ain't even gonna front. That I don't shit. even have a full understanding of what Reddit is because I be saying like, you can watch bootleg stuff on there or all it's this other the stuff. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so I, yeah, I don't, I don't even know what be going I on. I mean, they got like, it's like topic boards, subject boards. Like, bruh, I forgot some of the shit I started following and I was scrolling through my Reddit thread and I was like, what am I following? <laughs> yeah. What you be like, doing you on you there? Go <laughs> so you be on there on some trolling shit or something? You be trolling or something? Oh, no. Damn. No, no. Um, what was the purpose of me getting on ready? I don't even remember what my original purpose. Oh, it was something about somebody I was following on YouTube was like, join our Reddit group and we can talk about this stuff. And I was like, oh, like the nerd in me was like, oh, OK. And then I like never spoke to people. And then I just started following Black Twitter on Reddit, which I, that's where I. I get all the memes and shit from. Like, so. <laughs> and then, like, I started following other stuff, and I was like, yeah, I think this is too much. <laughs> it was just, they was just at freely asking questions, which I, you know, yay, ask your question and get your answer, you know, but it was just like, they yeah, were asking you um, these questions. No, they was asking the community, oh, okay, not okay. me. No, I, no. And y'all no. typing, right? Y'all not, like, on there talking with them. Nah, you can just type. It's okay, just okay. typing. But yeah, no, I don't troll. <laughs> Bro, I got too much fucking time. Too, I got too many fucking hobbies to be trolling. <laughs> like, it's so many things I can go find and do. But like, but like, I'm choosing to watch videos right now. You know, I got you. I started, I started watching Midnight Mass. Uh, what you on before I ask? Four, four. How you feeling about it? I got lots of feelings. <laughs> are you liking it or are you not? I'm I, trying to think because I, it's depending on the episode, yo, because the shit going to hit, like, it might be, the, it, it might be a little slow burn. I feel like, I don't, it wasn't a slow burn to me because I was just interested in what old buddy was going through. Because if you like... I, I, I'm the type of person, I'd be like, did they forget about this? Did they forget about this? So he really just doing this. Do he not see that there's going to be a ripple effect? Like, if he think he's being affected, why, did she just do this? Did, I got so many questions right now that I don't have answers to, and I got assumptions of what's going to happen in the next couple of episodes. So, yeah. 
Have you seen any supernatural things yet? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. He he's already fully, you know, drinking the Oh, okay. <laughs> Like yeah. I said, I so, feel yeah. like you're going to enjoy it. Like, once it gets late, like, I feel like you still... Yeah. <laughs> I'm but, like, uh, what the... Yeah. <laughs> and I, I got like, I'm, I'm saving it for the review. I got you. I got I, you. That's why I'm not saying nothing. I'm saving it so for you the got review. So you got five. Uh, you done with episode four or you on episode four? I am on episode four. Okay, okay, okay. So you got... No. You got Where four they episodes. have to... Yeah, they got to dispose of the... You know. Okay, so you you, you enjoy <laughs> that? You like you? Did that, 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 that come off no. guard to you? No, I just I tell I tell you about it during the review. I'm not mad at nothing. It's we, just we, we, the got, review. My bad. The review. Review. My bad. I am I am thoroughly <laughs> intrigued. <laughs> okay, uh, I want to talk about my man Will Smith. Uh. Have you heard about the book he uh, dropped? And I know he got something going on YouTube too. Like he doing, like he got a little little mini series like about workout that he not doing, but uh, like something that was leading to him losing weight or something. But I think this okay. pertaining mostly to the book and everything he talking about. Him and Jada. So he gonna, <laughs> so he gonna talk about his other his other girlfriends that he didn't have throughout the years of them being married to. Hey man. I think I'm. Is he gonna cut? Is he confessing to those? Is he like what is what is what is he gonna do? Is he is he? I don't know. Somebody said that he was bi, and I was like, let's not speculate like about heard, people's sexualities. Well, not we. The most of the I don't pay attention to Will Smith and Jada's movies, honestly. Yeah. But when you get start getting into movies and start uh, as far as like whatever. Pertaining to uh, who doing the background, who doing the director, whatever. We don't. Hear, I don't hear rumors or whatnot as far as Will Smith and Jada Pink, and I feel like people don't hear all type of rumors throughout the years about them. Now everything mm-hmm. done come to light because they speaking on the stuff. Pertaining to Will Smith, though, as far as the book, he like talking about how much he done had so much sex when somebody cheated on him to the point he was throwing up from orgasms. <laughs> I'm like, whoa. <laughs> like, I done heard about some things, but I've never heard that. Maybe. Uh, y'all let me know in the live chat comment section if y'all ever heard something like that before he said that. I've never heard nothing like that. <laughs> it's a, it's association. Uh, it's like the the Pavlov effect where it's a, it's a, a, a psychology experiment. Like, they have you, like, eat lemon and they ring a bell, so then every time you hear the bell, your mouth starts to water. That sounds like some hypnosis type shit. <laughs> uh, it kind of is. <laughs> but I seen something that was really funny. It was like a pen, uh, uh, potential basically voting to have Will Smith and Jada stop doing interviews. And it's like... Yeah, please. You have you you hear about people wanting to hear gossip. They want to hear about celebrity gossip. You have people like now, like y- y'all just stop. We don't hear no more. <laughs> and this is people like in the world, like no, we don't hear no more. <laughs> Cause it's like we shouldn't a- go ahead. We shouldn't be hearing shit about their marriage in the first place. That's what's wrong with it. Their ma- whatever they doing in their marriage is not wrong. It's the fact that we know about it and we comment on it. That's the problem. We shouldn't know shit. <laughs> Well, we didn't know shit. That was couple goals, but now we know everything that people want to judge, and it's just like that's why you can't be letting everybody know what's going on in your damn marriage. Shut the fuck up, please. With all due respect, I feel like they have an agenda to what they're doing. It's always I feel like Will Smith. I feel like Will Smith kind of doing it a little bit differently than what Jada is doing. I feel like he's just being honest, just trying to express himself because people have this image of him. And I feel like that's she's what he's doing a little bit. I feel like she's bit. trying to be poetic about it. Like, yeah, yeah. I guess. It's like this beautiful mess of chaos. And you feel like Jada just thugging it out. And, like, <laughs> like, hey, it is what it is. <laughs> I, I, I just like, it is what it is. And once you start letting people know what's going on in your marriage, then everybody feel like they can comment and have an opinion on it. And then their views of your marriage change. I don't feel like they care, though. 
they don't, but the fact that they have to keep defending it. Like, they're I, not defending I'm it. I'm not trying to. I ain't seen no, well, I seen her when she's defending the whole uh, August stuff, but I understand that. But this other stuff, they ain't, they ain't worrying about this stuff, man. No, they not. At this point, it's just free publicity. I mean, it ain't good publicity, but it's free. Yeah. And I don't think Will Smith got no movie out or movie coming out right now. Well, King Richard. The King, yeah, I yeah, yeah. say King Richard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. King Richard. Yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, you got a topic before I go into mine? Uh, <laughs> what is your favorite lyrical dance song? Like it's a song where like people can dance to it. I don't know. If, I don't, I'm assuming but you don't lyrical. dance. Yeah, it's hard because I I the reason I asked is because I was thinking oh, about how. Oh oh yeah, I got it. I got it. I was thinking about how shitty the lyrics are in songs that people actually dance to. Like, and I and I mean shitty as in like it's not uplifting or any type of uh, thing that we should be, we should be reciting over and over. But, you know, because I'm like, bruh, what the hell? Like, like if you listen to a Yin Yang Twins song that you what, shake that monkey, like, listen to the end to that. That is not <laughs> that is oh, not shit. You said Yin Yang yeah. Twins, though. Woo! Yeah. Going back yeah, to some that's lyrics. What I mean. like, we really have to sit back and be like, you talking mumble rappers? They wasn't mumble rappers, but we can't sit back and be like judging mumble rappers and we was... That, <laughs> We'll that's why I stopped talking shit about mumble. That's Hold exactly on, why the, I stopped the, talking the, about mumble. The whispering song. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I stopped talking shit about mumble. Because I don't like it. And he had free. Hold on, it had. Hold on, who was it on there for 106 and Park? Uh, <laughs> free? Was it free on yeah. the remix? Yo, my apologies. <laughs> New age <laughs> to rap. Yeah, because yeah, we was. I, I was. Uh, I know. I was talking shit. Fuck these mobile rappers. And then I was like, hey. I went back and listened to our music and I was like, Yeah. We have oh. a person called Little John that literally don't rap. He just yells. <laughs> what? Okay. Put your hood up. Put your hood. Put your click. He, he enunciated them words. What? No. <laughs> that teeth. Said that T hard, but yeah, lyrical dance song like like uh, it's a song that people can dance to, but it's like hella lyrical. You just be like oh, ice cream. Right. Watch these rap ice niggas cream. get all up in your. Oh. Yeah, that's it. Dancing, we dancing to that. Yeah, and that's here today. Yeah, we dancing to that, and we rapping to that. We singing the lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ice cream. Yes, yeah. you right. You right. I got that shit on the playlist. <laughs> <laughs> What's yours? Made you look nice. Okay, okay. Definitely the remix. <laughs> Definitely the remix. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> okay. That ain't no one. I mean, made. I just feel like that's, that's a, a debatable I like one, that though. Beat. I don't feel like everybody feel like, will be able to dance to that. Ice cream, I feel like everybody. everybody. You right. You right. <laughs> yep. You right. But, like, I like choreographed dance. I like, you know, like hip hop dance and like all that. One second. What you mean? Oh, I got okay. Shout out to anybody that's tuned in. Shout out to all my subscribers. Shout out to anybody that's watching this on Twitch. Like I said, we are live right now. It's a new episode of Uncut Ish Talk, episode 25. Y'all definitely let me know if we be doing any lag or anything. Like I said, I had to pause for a minute to go out and check because I be getting these little messages that come up on my internet or whatnot to let me know if something's going on. But once again, shout out to anybody that's tuned in right now. And by the way, like I said, if you notice one of us get up and go away, by the way, we got kids or whatnot, so certain things be going on, so we might have to take care of certain things. So, yeah. But once again, shout out to anybody that's watching us right now. It's a new episode of Uncut Ish Talk. Audio version will be available tomorrow, uh, Wednesday. Like I said, I'm used to doing this on Friday, so I'll be like Serdos. But yeah, the audio version will be available tomorrow. Spotify, Apple, Our Heart, all those streaming services or whatnot. What's going on? What's and what was your on? question? My bad. <laughs> 
I had to say, I had to I, check I, on his. I'm going to be real. I can't remember if I asked a question. I thought we were talking about a topic you brought up. Yeah, we was talking about the whole lyrical. Oh, I asked what was your song. And you said, yeah, I made I you said, look. And I was like, look. I don't feel like this is going to be everybody's <laughs> song, though. I feel like ice cream is. Oh, no, that beat, though. That beat, it was just, it was the beat for me. <laughs> okay. I feel like I could have said in the club. I feel like that's a lyrical. It's one. lyrical. It it's is. lyrical. Yeah. I'm not mad at it. I feel like I be trying to put 50 Yo, on it too much, though. People gonna be like, like, man, they don't stop putting 50. I dick riding 50 so much, nigga. <laughs> I'm a fan. What? I'm a fan. It's a fan. difference between dick riding somebody and being a fan. Fan. Exactly. Some people see being a fan as dick riding. It's like, okay, so I can't be a fan of nobody. Like, wow. Yeah, like I said, I admit that I don't feel like all his albums been all lit. Right. I feel like y'all I say the same thing about Nas. Oh, yeah. I, I feel the Be same way about Nas. Especially. Yeah. <laughs> Let, we going we to get off of that. We're not going to talk about that. Okay, okay. But yeah, Ice Cream <laughs> is definitely one of the ones that's lyrical and that you could definitely party to, dance to. Definitely. 100%. Made you look, in my opinion, yeah. I feel like you can dance to that and party to that too. Especially the yeah. remix, Ludacris, J uh, Jada Kiss. Definitely. Hey. I forgot Luda was on here. What? what do you say? I make a nigga throw, throw bowls. The way he come on and deliver that verse. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's why I'm like, I forgot. How did I forget? Southern rapper with two New York artists. Right. Holding his own. Luda, I hate he that always... people don't be trying to get Luda these what? props. And I'm like, man, Luda. Oh. I Luda hate quick. that they did a, I'm sorry. I don't feel like he should have went against Nelly in the verses. <laughs> <laughs> at all, <laughs> even and he won that, of course. Yeah, Nelly music does not hold what? up today. No, it doesn't. It uh -oh. does. Not. Yo, <laughs> I was listening to and it's, some it's old really the Nelly. Beat. Yeah, it's I was listening beat. to some old Nelly, and I was just like, "Man, no since you be why? hard though." <laughs> and not in the ends that they was like hard as far as games, but they used to go hard as far as somebody yes. got them in their car playing school dances or whatnot. <laughs> that shit used to hit. <laughs> it did. It did. How it did. It... <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Oh my God. It was a time. It was a moment, but... It's, it ain't it now. And that was the radio <laughs> version. Because he used to say hot shit. But that's all I heard. I never heard the CD version yeah. at first. So all I heard was, hi. <laughs> I, that was one of the CDs that my mom bought me for Christmas one year. I had the CD where they had the yeah. single and the instrumental. Oh, no. I had the whole thing. <laughs> I used to get so mad when my mom was started. My mom used to accidentally buy me the edit of CDs. I was like. Yeah, Walmart. So that won't work. I was like, Ma, for real, this is edited. I had a DMX <laughs> CD like that. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, he was barking most of the time, wasn't he? Just <laughs> barking the gunshots. Did they leave the gunshot scene? <laughs> I think they did. I think they did. They used to take the gunshots out on the radio. <laughs> I'm like, why? Or put gunshots in. Like, uh. Man. <laughs> That's like when they tried to play Ether on the radio. <laughs> I feel like they let nah when that first came out, they let that rock. <laughs> they let that rock. I remember mm. I, if I'm not mistaken, they even played Funk Flex version on the radio. They was letting him talk his on the radio. I remember that. <laughs> if I'm not I'm mistaken. Kidding. I know they let that rock though on the radio. That was worldwide at the time. <laughs> we was there in the Carolinas. <laughs> Waiting on that response. What? And that's when you didn't have to do it fast. He didn't respond for like a what, like a month or maybe like a couple weeks. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna hop back over to the movies. Sad scene to watch. Right. Ricky and Boys in the Hood. A Cl Cleo set it off. I got mine, and I'm explaining to y'all why I got mine. <laughs> and y'all can say whatever you want to say. I got a reason. <laughs> oh, Go I get. 
And y'all let me know in the comment section who y'all got. Ricky, sad or seen to watch. Ricky and Boys in the Hood or Cleo set it off. Sad or seen to watch. I, you know what I'm talking about. The scene, both of them get shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I say Ricky, and it's because, like, the way the mom was reacting and the way she was, like, like blaming the brother. Okay. And it's like, and just the whole, like, them, them having him in their hands, just like his lifeless lifeless <laughs> lifeless like just that's that's the traumatic part it's to you know because cleo was by herself she lit cigarette she accepted it and they had to accept it too or only one person saw her die right jada because jada was like nah leaving. multiple people saw her die. Oh. her girlfriend uh, right now uh, they was on tv yeah okay yeah oh yeah yeah, oh. yeah. damn oh yeah that was the scene. Yeah. It was. It was. That was a scene. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I guess because like the whole intimate family scene, and it's just like she blaming the brother, and just the the emotions, the outbursts, and it's just like it's. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I absolutely agree with you. Not for the same reasons, though. <laughs> um, I choose Ricky as being the saddest scene because Ricky was in poverty. Ricky had a brother that was a dope dealer, which he could have used him for his circumstances, could have got money for him, this and that. He didn't accept that. Not only that, Ricky had a child. He could have still made some bad decisions. He still didn't. He kept trying to go to school, running. Cleo, Cleo don't have no kids. Cleo was in poverty too, and she decided, I'm going to rob. She had a job. This nigga was good. She still was set, and she decided, I'm going to go rob. Nah. Ricky was a sad scene. Cleo yeah. decided to make a choice. He, to was, a teen, here and he rob. was a teenager. <laughs> yep, and that's another thing. He was a teenager. He teenager. still made better decisions. <laughs> Cleo was a grown woman. Yeah, she. That's why I said she accepted her fate. <laughs> she was like, "This shit, this is it." Nah, I'm going out it was like in this. the same circumstances. Same circumstance. Not only that. Ricky had a brother. He could have relied on his brother. He could have sit back and went to the whole enough for real. Cleo had every, Cleo had a job. She could have decided, I want to go get a better job. She could have decided multiple things, man. She had no kids. She had no responsibilities. She had friends. Don't get me wrong. She had friends. And she had a nephew or whatnot, of course, because uh, the little boy would not. But still, <laughs> still, that's why I choose Ricky. Sad to see Oh, yeah. He made better decisions, and he still was trying to hold it down with a kid. I, I forgot he had a kid. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. he wanted to make sure his mama and was straight. What? Man, come on, man. Where is my child? <laughs> uh, oh, man, I got what you do. You trying to make sure your kid's straight on the video? Yeah, I'm looking at, <laughs> I'm looking at him on the camera. I'm like, where is he? Because he's he yelling, and I'm like, what is he doing? He dropped something. Okay. He's like, it ain't nothing important. <laughs> but yeah. I got it. <laughs> uh, I guess the next thing I want to jump into, back to back to the little questions as far as life questions. Do you still love people who you know talk bad about you? I ain't going to I'm going to change that. Not say still love them, because you can still love people regardless of situations. Do you still, I guess, deal with people? Show them love? Show them the same? I mean, show them what how you want them to treat you, even though they might talk down on you or whatnot. You might not necessarily talk down about them, even behind closed doors or whatnot. And I no. see you shaking your head, so you already said no. <laughs> <laughs> Look, no, let me explain now. I will give you a chance to redeem yourself. And if I show you my boundaries and I show you how I want to be loved and you still shit on what I'm showing you you ain't gotta see me no more period it's understandable Done. bye cause you gotta no. protect your peace too bruh all the way all the way I gotta protect my energy I'm not wasting energy on people I'm not doing it I swear to God I am not doing it I can't not no more not ever I feel like I wasted so much time and energy on people and like just trying to feel like accepted. And I don't mean like not 
strangers. I'm talking about family members. Like I, I understand. And I, understand. I just, yeah. and I just feel like, <laughs> I just feel like they never accepted me for who I am. They just always wanted me to like mold to who they want me to be and do. So I'm like trying to please them, and I'm trying to do shit like hang with them and. Like, and I was like, bruh, I wasted so much time that I could have just been discovering myself and yep. figuring out myself by trying to be accepted by these people that really don't, I don't feel like care about me, you know? I, so. I have a deeper love for people. I think what I try to do is keep a distance. Damn! I try to keep a distance. What you mean? What you do that? Nah, the way you say, you know, you was like, I got a deeper love for people. Like, like you make me sound like I was heartless. No, like, I ain't she saying don't care that. About no, people, don't get it twisted. Do I don't. I'm just messing with you. I don't you. have my de- <laughs> hey. <laughs> That's I call I'm it. I'm just messing with you. I guess I call it distancing though. And I, I, I look at that as protecting mental health too, because I gotta protect my health. I gotta take my mental health. I gotta take my uh peace. A mind because how I feel about somebody might affect how I react at home. It might affect how I'm reacting at my kids or whatnot. And not saying that I'm a overreacting I'm them or whatnot get mad, but the way I'm carrying certain things. Oh, I got you. I got you. Once again, I want to say that, uh, like I said, we have kids and certain things. We got to make sure everything going on. If you're watching us live or whatnot. So, yeah. Shout out to anybody that's tuned in on Twitch or YouTube. You good, you good, man. You exactly. Get up no. Anytime you yeah. do whatever you're doing, you good. But uh, yeah, exactly. I, like I said, I, <laughs> I just have a love. No. Nope. I want to, uh, I guess I want to, I I try to arrange myself the way I feel. I love you. I don't care how you feel. I don't care how you talk or what you're going to say about me. I'm going to arrange myself the way I feel. I love you. That's how I'm going to carry myself. And when I'm around you, I'm going to show you I love you or whatnot. If I got something I got to say or whatnot, I'll do that at the appropriate time or whatnot if it needs to be said. But if I feel like if it's not going to change the topic or it's not going to change how you're going to react and you're still going to do the same thing, no, I'm not going to have that, uh, su- that tough Boom. conversation because there's no point. It's Boom. a waste of breath or whatnot. But like I said, it's, short, it's shorter days. And I'm not going to be the person that be sitting back like, oh, man, I should have did this in the third. And I feel like people should feel that way about me too or anybody else as far as if you have a dilemma as far as talking about somebody which I feel like you shouldn't do. Let's be clear. Ain't nobody innocent. We all human. I might have done had times where I done said something about somebody. I might not maybe uh, remember it. I do remember times man, where I done said something about somebody. So let's not be acting like, oh, you the big loyal person or the big this and then the third. No, it ain't like that. I'm just saying though, in this day and age, how you deal with somebody that you love are you willing to sit down and still deal with them even though you know they don't talk down on you about you? And mm-hmm. I guess I'm saying because I know personally that it's certain people that I know I ain't never said nothing about. I say this. I don't look up to certain people. Whether it's family or something, I don't look up to certain people. And when I don't found out certain things or that I don't heard them say certain things, it's like, damn. I looked up. i like, damn. Oh, right. <laughs> damn. <laughs> damn. Right. I see. And for me, it ain't making it. you mad. That should be hurting. It don't be making you mad. It hurt. Exactly. Then that turns into anger. But, like I said, it just... Psst. Exactly. I feel you 100%. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, I'm like, I just... I can't, I can't continue to exhaust any more of my energy on anybody else. Like, I got shit that I need to... I got goals that I need to accomplish. I got shit I need to set in motion. So when I leave, my kids is good. Like, yeah, definitely. I I'm not I'm not out here to try to impress anybody. So, <laughs> and that's another thing I'm too. Just, that's why you see me anything. I, I'm with my kids most of the time, man. If not all the time, that's what I'm with. That's who I'm this, with. That's my job. <laughs> this is my job. I don't get breaks. I don't get holidays paid. None of that shit. This is my job. Twenty four seven. Take care of me. Hey. My breath. <laughs> that's the thing about it. When these Negroes get older, when I make that call, hey, I need to go to the store. Hey, hey, man, you better be on your way. <laughs> All my kids, nephews, Amish, everybody better be on their Amish way. All this sacrificing out in done. What? Boy. Boy, somebody to eat, you my sacrifice one day. I, I about flipped. I was like, excuse me? Excuse me. I ain't sacrificed. What? 
first it started with my body. That was the first sacrifice. You lucky. <laughs> like, don't tell me. I ain't gonna say you know, I'm not even gonna right say you lucky. You got some time. Because <laughs> when they get to their age and they want to give you that look, they want to maybe even give you a little attitude turning their neck extra hard. All of that. You're going to get a, Oh, man. Wait. Wait on. My daughter already. She's three. Oh, that's she girl. three. Yeah, girls can start at first. She's three and she's part of me. I get it. Look, I be so mad when she do some shit. When she give me to me and I be like. That's the thing, too, when they're part of you. Because <laughs> you know your attitude when you was that age. <laughs> I asked some. I asked them one day. I was like, you want to fight? Do you want to fight? Hey, Bernie uh, Mac. What's the move? <laughs> what's the <a> move? <laughs> Like, do you want to fight? <laughs> it's too much out here, man. I've done too much. Everything I had to go through, making sure you good. You you go to bed at night, sleep. You might you might not know what somebody your parent waking up wondering if this gonna get taken care of, if this gonna be straight. But you good. You ain't worrying about it because no matter what we going through, we making sure you ain't even seeing that signs on our face. We're like, right, <laughs> the stress, right, the stress, right. <laughs> My children will not see that part of me. Hey, no. you see, hey. We all good over here. Smile, smiling, smiling. Smile. Yep. <laughs> Going to crank up the car. See- oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> For real, though, man. Oh, God. What <laughs> uh, I still got, man. I got some little things. I guess I want to ask back to the hip hop. And this is more recent disses. Cause I feel like it's more this is out there that's a little bit more disrespectful, but I feel like these the one that really kind of got personal. <laughs> mm-hmm. More disrespectful this song, Pusha T, Story of Adonis, Remy Ma, Sheetha. Pusha T, and I'm saying Pusha T because uh, he talked about this man's child. <laughs> Family member, relative, not not his body, not his appearance, not his relationship. Well, I guess his relationship with the girl, but like <laughs> this man's child. That's true. Came up as a topic like that's disrespectful. He didn't say nothing disrespectful about the child, but he brought it up. I got and what you're saying, though. Reason, I got what you're saying. And that's the same reason why Jay Z and and Kanye fell out. Jay Z was like, "It's because you brought up my child." He didn't say nothing disrespectful about Blue Ivy. All he said is, "Our children have, don't play together." And then you know, you said what? So why do when when Ye was on the whole stage ranting, oh, okay. talking about don't send the shooters? Why you didn't show them for my wedding? I thought you were talking about uh, Jay Z and Nas. I, I was about to say what? No, <laughs> they oh, said some. No, very they dis- children not even the same age. Woo. <laughs> they said some. No. Yeah, okay. No, Kanye and Jay Z. <laughs> you gotta remember, Remy Ma. She she called both. She called her brother a pedophile, which he is. He is. And her husband a pedophile, not a pedophile, he but a is. sexual abuse. He is. She said Nikki slept got- with Ebro. She said her butt went flat and Nick and Mick Mill couldn't hit it for a week or month or so. I mean, That's all personal. these. The brother uh, is personal. personal stuff. He is though, like shit, shit, she, she's spitting facts, bruh. <laughs> like it's not. I mean, it, to me, to me, it was disrespectful, but it was factual. I mean, I don't know about the whole butt flat leaking and shit. I mean, but it's disrespectful, man. It's disrespectful. <laughs> I mean, but, but the suck me. No. I don't care. He talked about this man, son. He ain't had to bring I agree with you. Huh? I'm agreeing with you. I agree with Story of Adonis. Not for that, though. He talked about that man, uh, best friend, that said he's sick, which he really is sick. <laughs> sick, sick, sick. sick, sick. He Nigga, brung up what? his mama. He brung up his daddy. Daddy? <laughs> like, that's some disrespectful shit. But the thing about your... He brung up the man, best friend. He said he's he dying. And he really is, like... He is dying. Damn. But... Ain't no rules when they when you do these dis- these songs. No, and like Yo, that's why I say there's some ones I could have brought up past ones, but I feel like I say that for another one because I'm gonna keep Yo, this topic going. And different, talking uh, about this this disrespectfulness. So um, I don't. You remember Jermaine Dupri had that show, The Rap Game. I never watched it, but I remember it. I didn't watch it though. Okay, so one time he had the kids battling. And it was this black girl, this, um, I'm trying to remember her name. It was a black girl. She was battling this white boy. And 
he had told like his whole life story and whatever, and she used it against him. So his mom drug is a drug addict, and so she was talking about I take your mama crack pipe and she was going well, these are children, and I and that was the dad was mad. He was like she didn't have to go that personal, and I, all the black parents was like no, yes she did because <laughs> this is rap. She can go as personal as she wants to, and everybody was like. That was like debatable. Like, should she took talked about the his mama like that? And it's like I was like, I see no problem with it. This is a rap battle. You get disrespectful. She he volunteered that information, so she used the information against him. Oh, who was she battling? Said, Wait a minute. Who was battling? These children. The children. But you were said battling. the mama dissed the kid. No, no. She talked about his mama, the child, the oh. little girl. <laughs> she was talking about his mama being a crackhead or cokehead or whatever. Okay, okay, okay. Her, That's the part I was trying to make sure. Of. Yeah, no, not the parents, but the parent, but the but the boy's parents got the boy got the boy's dad got mad because he was like, "Why is he using? Why is she saying stuff like that?" And the p- other parents was like, "Because she was supposed to." That's a rap battle, and you know he thinking that she just gonna stick to his appearance. No, she talks about that boy mama. <laughs> so it's a little girl going against a little boy. Yes. In a rap battle. Yes. <laughs> and the and the little boy mom was really on drugs. Yes. <laughs> How did they allow this to even happen? <laughs> Because she would, that I mean, okay, so you know, everybody come in with a backstory. Yeah. So his backstory was, uh, my my dad raises me and my brother because my mom is on drugs, and that was what they told people. So therefore, when the rap battle came up, the little girl was like, "Well, let me bring, you know, I'm gonna hit him where it hurts." So she went in on him. Why would he say that before? Mom. Well, they kids, but. Oh, no. They kids and they people just trying to relate to other people. And you know, when you come in on a reality TV show, you have to have a storyline. And that was their storyline. So therefore, it got repeated and therefore it got used against you. It's TV. It's, that's, um, I would have been done with me at Night Mass if I didn't spend the whole weekend watching um, top model contestants talk about their time on oh, top shit, models man. for like. For like six hours, I was like, I gotta get off this shit. But like, bruh, because I, I religiously watched that show. That was my shit. I was like, yo, I want to be a model, but I'm 5'1", five 5'2", one, five on a good day. <laughs> I'm short as fuck, like, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, like, I was like, I can't be no model. Like, but I used to watch the show and I liked it. And it's like, the way that production edited these people, the way that production played these girls and like basically used them for, because the thing about reality TV is you don't get paid. You do not get paid to be a contestant on the reality TV show. So you talking about At like least Flavor not of Love models. and all those older shows? Were- I don't know about Flavor of Love, but I also hey, know that those girls paid. on... <laughs> I feel like New the girls on they- Flavor of Love... First of all, they were all characters. They none of them girls act that way. They were all being a character, like like loving hip hop. They they are characters. They are being characters. They are not being their authentic selves because it's reality TV. Would you like? Do you watch people do vlogs? Like uh, on you YouTube? talking about like on YouTube or whatnot? Yeah, yeah, where yeah, people just show their daily life. Yeah. Okay, how many how many of those do you watch, and how often do you watch them? Uh, like, is there is there people that you actually keep up with? Yeah, kind of for like just to see how they operate as far as uh, business wise. But I got interested in certain ones because of their kids. My kids was watching yeah. them, and then I was like, okay, let me... T-. And I got interested in what they was doing because it kind of reminded me of my daily life a little bit, you know. Yeah, but like, see, it is things like that. Like, think about that. That's actually people real life. They still editing yeah. that, but they are in control of the editing. Versus like, you going on a reality TV show and you just, you 18 
or you 18, fresh out of school, going on a reality TV show, then you got to do whatever to do, whatever you can to stay on that show. That's what they was doing. That's all they were doing. They were just being characters. And then uh, uh, some of them were being authentic, but they were like, the way they were being edited. And like, I just like, what got me interested in this is like, um, this, uh, this one girl named Danny. They told her she had to close her gap. And like, they like basically played her. They like gave her the choice to close her gap. And she got the panel and they was like, so you didn't close your gap. She was like, yeah, I didn't think I needed to. And they was like, mm, you left the gap wide open for the next girl. And like, they literally played her. They And she was like, yeah, I got played by production. No, and I don't shit about she, no top models. So. Bruh. <laughs> just the shit. This shit, like, I was just like, yeah, these reality shows. But yeah, Top Model, they did not get paid. They did not get paid to be on that show. And I was like, wow. So they really put y'all body and life in harm? Because, like, they wasn't doing, like, regular model shit. It's like, hey, walk down the side of this building in a harness. Don't get hurt, though, because, oh, okay. you know. Like, I don't fool with them. I, I... Stupid show. <laughs> I watch Flavor Love now, but yeah, America's Next Time. Yeah, I, I, watch, shit. Hell, I watch Flavor Love. Uh, I love New York. Real Chance of Love. Yeah, For the Love of Ray J. <laughs> yeah, I ain't watched this shit. <laughs> you didn't watch For the Love of no. Ray J? Ah, oh, man, he had some of the like most quotable shit. Danger. She smashed the homie. <laughs> what? Okay, no, 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 I did. I was thinking about <laughs> Flavor Love. That I remember the, <laughs> that trigger something. <laughs> no, I'm thinking. I think I, I'm, did they both have rappers over. Because it was like an episode where they had bo- somebody had rappers. Yeah, over. yeah, yes. Ne- yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Because when you start naming some episode. of the girls, I remember because I remember Danger, and I know that's Ray J. That's not our Flavor Love. So yeah. Yes. <laughs> that's what I thought. Yeah. Oh girl, uh, <laughs> the girls. The do you girls. have a more? Uh, do you have a slept on artist? Mm, no, not off the top of my head. I can't even think of like nobody, like rap artists. Well, yeah, basically a rap artist. I mean, it could have. I, I guess it could have been an R and B artist too, but. This is an artist that's not getting like a lot of notoriety right now, but she got it's got some good music. I'm I'm in the process of of, of scouting out new music, so I ain't got nobody right now. I ain't got okay, nobody okay. right now. <laughs> hey, I got a question for you. What's up? So is there such thing as like bro code or like y'all got a code that y'all follow, a code of ethics. I guess it's such thing oh, called girl code. Yeah. Uh, so do do y'all do you actually follow bro code? Like what's what's some what's some bro code thing? <laughs> Since we talk about danger and smashing the homie. <laughs> oh, <whoa. laughs> some you did. I ain't do that. <laughs> Innocent. You like my segue? Uh, no. I said yeah. It's definitely a bro code. Definitely, one hundred percent. Just like when you at work, I expect if my wife at work, she's not gonna definitely tell me about stuff she's talking to with her girlfriends at work or when not everything they talking about. Like that's expectable. So. Just for me, example, if I'm at work or I'm around my brothers and them a certain, you're not gonna talk about everything y'all done talked about or whatnot. <laughs> true, true. Nah, I mean, cause okay, like girl, you mean like some pillow like, talking? <laughs> no, <ew. laughs> no. Okay, like, like okay, girl code. Well, girls don't follow girl code no more. That shit is dead. So, cause girls ain't loyal to girls anymore. I feel like it's anyway, <laughs> so like, girl code used to be like, hey. If I like this dude, then and I smash him, y'all can't oh, like him or smash like him. This. Yeah, like you can't be dating your Hell friends' no. exes if and you shit like that. That type of code, no, not no, not dude, no. 
Nah, unless, <laughs> ain't got unless no. it's like the one. Like, if that's your one, <laughs> nah. That's right. That's right. That's my fish. Don't but if touch that's like the one, no, that's not no coat, no. That type of say, gold, say, no. say that's community. Yeah. <laughs> Full immunity. <laughs> wow. Well, no, okay. For me, for me like <laughs> for me, I'm like, I can't for me, for me and my mental stability, I can't smash anybody that my friends smash, my cousins, my sister. That shit is nasty. I'm not going behind my friends. No. There's enough dudes out here. Because y'all easy, let me be honest. <laughs> I hear you saying that, but you realize that whoever you getting with not a virgin, right? So they don't be with somebody. <laughs> oh, that whole, that whole, that shit is, um, first of all, it's about exchanging energy. We ain't gonna get off that, like, like y'all actually like like a sexually transmitted demon, so we we we. <laughs> so you talking about some it follows shit? Like what you mean? <laughs> it's fine. Like what are you talking about? You feel you like it's real like, shit like no. that? Sexually transmitted demons. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 no. But you can attach yourself to other people's energy and not be able to get rid of that shit. You have to like meditate them motherfuckers out your brain, out of your system, out of your mind. Like some people can get attached to you, and you so just you cannot. Know, you basically need an ecstasy. <laughs> yes, yes, need an ecstasy. I've out of me. said that get shit out before. Of my system. <laughs> I've actually said that shit before. I need a fucking ecstasy, okay. like, bro. What did you ask me? <laughs> we were talking about bro code, like. <laughs> I, I, I guess it's different kind of ones. Can... Yeah. Explain. I mean, for, and for even, even, even with what you're talking about, <laughs> oh, it could be a main one. Like Certain people not going to huh? stick with that code. Of course, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know, because I feel like dudes be on another level of not caring when it comes to, oh, you smashed her, I smashed her Depending on too. if you got solid people around you, that's all it is, solid people. Uh -huh. if you, and look... <laughs> I mean, cause people human too. I've I've met a bunch of people. I told you about my story last time. Yeah, you told me. They yeah, didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't care. I mean, I'm like, is there supposed to be some type of bro code? Like, ain't you supposed to like not do that? But I mean, I told you, I don't feel like it matters if that's not a main. Especially when it involves me, I don't feel like that. Too. I knew what it. Matter. I knew what it was. I told you what I. I I was not oblivious to what I was in that situation. I do so. I'm looking on to the next one. Like you, you, you on that? Cool. I'm looking at this. Mm, I, <laughs> I, I did not care. I knew what it was. I, I that's why I was shocked when it was like, like more like like why are you trying to be my friend? Don't you know what this is, sir? <laughs> Maybe they like yeah. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> I just I don't know. I thought it was weird because it's like I don't see those uh, little meals about uh, what like a, a old girl will say. What happens if you tell old girl about your man and then boom, she smashes like some shit like that. <laughs> hey, see, I ran my mouth one time and I feel like I feel like yeah, that's yeah, oh. never. Shout out Uncut is talk. Y'all tuned in and <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess one of the last things I jump into is another uh R and B. But I feel like it's a compilation of rap R and B. John B featuring Tupac, Are You Still Down versus Fabulous featuring Neo, Make Me Better. Okay. I got beef with the with the make me better beat. Wow. <laughs> what? It's so repetitive. <laughs> this, man, hey. <laughs> what I'm, you mean? I look, hey, that's a, hey, I love that song. I don't know, do you feel like they repeat like it too the, much? You make me better. You make me better. That part, which what part no, do you feel like it's so repetitive? It's the beat. It's the the beat is like a loop. It doesn't change that much. 
Like it's nothing. It's nothing dynamic about the beat. If you just listen to the beat, beat? it's, the, it's that one of the main things with trying to song Timberland produced it, right? I know Timberland produced it, and that's just one of his beats that I'm just like. Man. Uh, I was one of the people the I think didn't even know Timberland produced that beat. I lo- I love that beat. You, you can tell by like the drum pattern, like yeah. That, <laughs> that shit smooth. I don't, <laughs> I'm not mad. I, the beat is not terrible. I'm not saying it down. Me plus you, like, hey, smooth ass, fabulous, and Neo come on that. Hey, uh, even though I'm still rocking with John B featuring Tupac. Okay, <laughs> then what, Tupac we, what versus we talking on about? Then? What we arguing for? What we arguing for? If, we, if you agree, <laughs> I'm just telling you why I don't like the why the other ones not. I love that song though. I love John that song. B <laughs> Man, that's one of the fabulous. Be- that's to me one of his top notch songs. I love that song. Yeah, I got it on the playlist, so I ain't complaining about it too hard. I'm just telling you, like, <laughs> if I ever skip that song, that's why. Because I'm just like, I just can't with the beat today. Not today. Sometimes, some days I can't, but not today. <laughs> I mean, damn, you got Timberland songs where he could throw Godzilla in the background for the First of all, or a baby crying. About, you talked about Timberland <laughs> producing that, uh, uh, got that a baby crying in the background. song. Even, I didn't, mm-hmm. you know, for the longest, I never, I was sitting here like, wait a minute, is that Godzilla growing in the background? Where did that come from? <laughs> and Aaliyah's song is the one with the baby crying, right? Mm-hmm. Are you that somebody? That was on the Dr. Doolittle soundtrack. Yeah, that's right. Going back to them soundtracks. Like, yeah. But you're telling me make me the make me bitter beat? Like oh. I didn't oh. I Timberland makes some interesting choices on certain things, and that was just one of them ones where I was like, he could have done more, but like repetitive whatever. beats. And I'm not trying to get off topic. Swiss beats. I love Swiss beats, but damn. If you're talking about repetitive beat patterns, <laughs> this, this 2021, tell me he gonna make a beat that don't sound like 2001. <laughs> he is. He is. That's why I can't get into like his newer stuff. I'm just like, this still I, I, sound like I enjoy it. I do. I, I, I enjoy it. I do. But I know it's Swiss beats. <laughs> I know it's Swiss beats. <laughs> Swizzy. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's definitely John B. though and Tupac. Are you still down? Yeah. To me, it's John B. vocals and Tupac verses. Uh, I noticed something too. Anytime I uh, pull up that John B. song, and even on older videos, Tupac is not mentioned on that song at all. At all. At all. <laughs> it, he used to, but then I don't. I don't know what. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's a legal thing. I don't know. Possibly death row. <laughs> Or Tupac's uh, state. Uh, you have anything else? Because like I said, that might be it for me. It's Tuesday night and I ain't going to stay on too long. I got to get myself together. Work tomorrow. Right. My child is sitting in the floor. <laughs> <laughs> you <fine. laughs> That's why I said I'm about to get up over here because I got to get myself together still. Yeah, I still gotta get them together. Uh, I was, so. Like I said, I was really doing this. Like I said, the holiday and stuff. I'm gonna be back on Fridays regular because I feel like Fridays better too. I honestly feel like Fridays better. Yeah, it's much better because I got more time. <clears throat> yeah, I got cause... more time too, and I got better energy on Fridays, man. I was t- I'm tired today. I feel tired. I'm t- <laughs> I feel tired today. <laughs> But like I can I said, tell. Yeah. Me too. I'm tired because, mm, like I said, it's my busy day. This is the day when I, once I take my son to school, it's something that one thing after another. Oh, yeah. So. And if anybody tuned in as far as YouTube subscribers, if y'all, I don't feel like I've been lackluster on doing reaction videos or videos. It just, I got a lot going on, man. I'm working. Kids. <laughs> but as far as reaction videos, copyright claim. It's a lot I, I stopped doing because of copyright claim. Like, I do best movie fights, best uh, uh, movie getaways, hard chases, copyright claims, man. <laughs> copyright claims. So, I've been doing a lot of uh, movie reviews. And, what's up? What you, what you doing for Christmas as far as, like, movie movies? I got some stuff, man. I do. How you feel? 
I feel like it's cliche. I, I wanted to kind of do like a uh, those Christmas movies, you know, review. As far as Home Alone, like I'm, I was thinking about maybe doing that, but I probably won't. I'm definitely doing Friday after next. I got to do a Friday after next retro review. I'm going to do, I'm already, excuse me, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm already doing uh, Black Christmas. Okay. I'm going to do Krampus. Uh, I got something I'm working on I got to finish, though. It was starting off as a skip, but it's going to be kind of like a mini movie. It's okay. Halloween, though, but it's a scary movie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Y'all be looking out for that, man. I'm doing something a little crazy. <laughs> it's something different, though. Uh, I'm working on Are skits, you? though, for Christmas. Oh, I'm my God. Oh, my God. I got to go. My son didn't found man. some skits. You good? <laughs> <laughs> I can he tell you looking at the crazy. video, you was like, what the fuck? He is cutting paper. Let me get down here. All right, you good, man. You get over here, man. Uh, shout out to the deal for coming through, man. I'm glad she was able to come through. Like I said, uh, I'll let y'all know what we're doing next week. 